in today's video, we are going to be looking at some camera accessories. And this particular camera accessories is going to be a LED monitor. You may call it a screen, but you know, to some people it's a monitor. The benefit of having a camera monitor truly able to see the output of your video. You know, if you're in a video, to see how your video quality is going to be. And that's absolutely very important because sometimes looking at your camera LCD screen, it may seem that, you know, the LCD screen may have a higher definition visibly. But when you go to save your video, it's like, oh, why is the output so horrible? Too much grain, you're not the right, not, not the appropriate colors in the video. That's a wonderful opportunity to get yourself into an LED screen. Another Amazon exclusive. Let's see what we got here, guys. Yes, sir. You see it. I know you guys see it. I was actually looking for this thing on uh, eBay um, at first was a auction which started off for like 40 bucks uh, on a used item which eventually went up to I believe 90 something dollars plus shipping so it's still like a hundred something dollars so I'm just thinking like man I'm not gonna pay that much money for a used camera screen but I would rather want to do if I'm gonna spend that amount of money I want it new so say for instance you know that auction just for the used screen, it was a hundred and let's say twenty dollars, and for a new screen, it's a hundred forty. I'd rather take that new screen because it comes with a warranty too. You know, it just makes perfect sense. So sure enough, check on Amazon, and they had it for it was like a hundred something dollars. That was a win-win situation, guys. LCD field monitor. So guys, the reason why I went with this brand is because, man, let me just tell you, their camera LED light is just absolutely amazing. It's just amazing. And then the price, oh, you couldn't beat it. You could not beat it. And then the prices of their batteries, psh, talk about savings. Let's get this thing open. Cause I am excited to use this. Um, I've been waiting to build my son's computer just for this. Because when I want to, when I build his computer, I want to be able to visually see how the camera video quality is. And to also be able to determine it, you know, if, if the items are in the video. Slice this open like it's a pizza. Yes, I like that. This box is nice. Oh, I like the box. I can tell that this box is made from recycled paper. This is wonderful. Much respect to this company for doing that. And for something like, like a, a box like this, say for instance, a box like this falls off a uh, trash truck. It's biodegradable after a while bad boy will break down mother nature will be happy all right let's get this thing open i'm gonna see exactly what this screen looks like so if i'm not mistaken this is supposed to be like a seven inch interesting it's got the plastic on here. Let's see what we got. What's underneath this plastic? Okay, a beautiful screen. I like it. We can add the battery, which 
the batteries that I use for this are compatible with this. So I can just pretty much prop that in here. There we go. So red represents that it has power. That does not mean it's actually on. You have to turn it on and it'll go to a different color. So right now it's blue. So as you can see, no signal, but it's got a battery light. It tells us that, you know, we got some decent battery. So let's go ahead and turn it off. Again, red represents that it's currently receiving power. So say for instance, we leave this battery in here and I just put this down and I, you know, leave it for the night, it's gonna consume power. So you always gotta remember to disconnect your battery. And to do so, there's a little release button right here, guys. So you press that and now you're able to release your battery. Simple, very simple, guys. Absolutely very simple and that's what I love. It's got a USB upgrade. This company, they will release like, you know, firmware upgrades. OSD controller. We got headphone jack, uh, audio visual, HDMI, yeah, power adapter port, DC uh, 12 volts. Let's see what else do we got here? And this is where you're gonna pretty much install the screen so see what's in the box again apologize for the noise um, I usually do a lot of unboxing videos uh, in my furnace room it's just much more comfortable than doing it on my desk to prevent stuff from getting scratched pretty much so this is your audio visual cable uh, it includes HDMI so HDMI to, I think it's a micro USB, or it could be a fiber cable. I gotta look at that. So this is going to be your mount. Basic sliding in our channel, and our screen will attach to here. So we'll see if this has enough height to use. So it comes with this bracket to put over your monitor. It's basically like a sunshade to help fight the light. This is another part of that screen layer. Call it a sunshade. Let's see which way. It's gotta be this way. All right, so I'm trying to figure out how to put this shade thing going here yeah it should this portion so this should be going aligning up with here and then so forth with this these two should line up with that or these three per se there we go They're lined up so as you guys can see Everything is now lined up and nothing's been blocked. This portion here will pretty much, it's got Velcro. Which that would go there. I'll tell you one thing, that Velcro sure does work. Of course, I need to make some adjustments, but you guys kind of get the idea. It's basically to block the sunshade, especially if you're using it outside. But since we're using this indoors, we can remove this. Now this can remain on. That's perfectly, perfectly fine.
what I'm going to do is just connect the uh, HDMI cable so this adapter piece is supposed to keep this HDMI cable secured to the actual screen to the LCD screen so that way, you know, if you're pretty much doing a photo or video shoot, you're always on the move and you don't want this cable to become loose. You will basically use this. I love this cage because this cage allows me to extend this bracket over some. So I'm going to tighten this up so it's not loose. Uh, we're going to extend this other side over, which we're going to put our light so let me put the battery in first all right so we got our battery in Let's extend that out got that mount right there Perfect. The makers that made this cage, they had everything in mind. Light, screen, mic. Light, screen, mic. Perfect. Now we're gonna take our HDMI cable and connect it to the monitor and then connect it to my camera. We're just gonna connect our HDMI. There we go. So next we're gonna connect our HDMI to our camera. All right, let's turn our camera on. All right, camera's on. All right, so now let's turn the power on. And let's see what we got. So there's supposed to be some sort of setting that allows us to, let's see, HDMI, no signal. Let's see what's going on here. All right, guys, it's getting late, so I'm gonna finish this video, but pulled out my uh, other camera, the Fujifilm. And as you can see, it says no image here. Uh, we do have the cable connected. It needs to be a certain type of cable in order for you to get the image to actually display. All right, guys, this kind of confirms it. Uh, what do we call it? Uh, HD out. It's a micro USB to this sports cam. This is pretty much working. So for my Canon Rebel, I need to order a certain cable in order for this newer screen to work because right now the cables that come with it it's not compatible with this this old rig but you know we'll get it done we'll definitely get it done so that's definitely something that you guys want to look at that if you're gonna purchase a lcd monitor be sure that you also uh do some research to see exactly which uh cables are compatible with your camera so let's see what we got got our package from amazon let's first get this thing connected all right we got that connected what we're gonna do so we got a premium canon mini hdmi cable it's 10 feet and we got another Canon mini video cable. I ordered two because uh, some people said some worked, some did not work. Okay, we got power. So I'm, I'm going to first connect this premium Canon mini HDMI cable that we purchased from Amazon. Both cables are from Amazon, but 
some are from different stores. So we're gonna connect the first end to our cannon. Get that in there. And now we're gonna connect this end to that. And we're gonna select HDMI. Check that out, look at my hand. Look at that, guys. And now I can actually get a true, true screen. I can actually get a true screen. So now let me, let me do this. Let me, I need to change that too, that whole power setting, cause it's just two instants. It's like three seconds and it's off, but let me, uh. Let me get this thing set up so that way you guys can get the full view. And as you can see me, I'm kind of, kind of too bright. Um, now, if I were to look at the LCD screen instead of this screen, I wouldn't be able to actually see uh, how bright I am or, you know, how the colors are off behind scenes. Um, and more so because for some reason on my camera my lcd screen it has a higher definition compared to what the camera is actually recording so when i were to save this video uh to you know like adobe premiere or just save this when i were when i go to save this video to my computer and look at the computer and i'm just like whoa that's horrible but yet the screen does not show how horrible it is so let's just for instance, let's disconnect from here, okay? So that way we can get this LCD screen back. And just look at this. Just look at the LCD screen. Well, recording this screen from my phone, it still looks a bit off, but in person, it is not. Like my screen, it looks so high definition compared to what the camera is actually recording and that's been my true true issue with this camera so from research i read the best way to solve that issue is if you were to uh, basically purchase a monitor uh, and that monitor is actually going to provide the true result of what that camera is recording and that's basically what i wanted to tap into i absolutely love this setup um, I'm going to play around with the settings and see exactly, you know, what adjustments I need to make on my camera. Again, this is the kit lens. You know, I am in a process of reviewing some, you know, far greater lens, but I'm on a tight budget. So it's going to be a lens that's likely used and hopefully not abused. But, you know, when a price is right, you know, I will I will get to it. So for anyone that is pretty much looking towards trying to monitor the videos that they're taking or trying to basically do like some sort of selfie uh, review, such as if you're doing a video of yourself and you want to be able to see that video, you can definitely purchase a uh, LCD monitor for your camera. This particular camera, it does have a LCD screen that will allow me to basically fold it to right here so I can see it on the side. However, the screen again, is it's a bit too small for my eyes. And again, that screen has a higher definition compared to what my camera is actually displaying. So if anyone has previously purchased a monitor, LCD monitor, and you pretty much had some issues with it where you were not able to get an image from it, please, please, please do some research and check to figure out which uh, HDMI cable you need for your camera.